My mom, she thought I was gonna admit that I was gay. When I, when I told her that I had something to talk to her about, she, um, actually when I told her I was transgendered, she looked at me and she went, what? Transgender? She kind of thought of Rocky Horror Picture Show when I told her that. I was actually um, on my way to my uh, dance recital. Um, your dance recital, worst time to do it, I swear. We were in the car and I was like, Hey mom, do you know what transgender means? And I've been doing research for about a year now before I decided to come out and you know really know what I'm getting myself into. And I said, well, I think that's what I am. I think I'm transgender. And she didn't say anything, she was just silent. At first she didn't believe me, um, but I think she, she actually looked into my eyes and she realized how hurt I was. She's like, why would you want to live a life like this? I mean, it's hard. I said, there's no other way and you don't know. I said, you know, I tried to kill myself three nights ago. And that was just a turning point, like, oh my god, this is real. I don't want to bury my dead child. I'd rather have you as a son than dead. Hi, I'm uh, doing this video documentation of my transition. I want her full support doing it. I finally got my hair cut. Yes. She said she'd let me get top surgery done. My first down teeth. So some changes that I've noticed is my voice has dropped. But I've been on testosterone for about a month and a half now. You see it right in here, like, my mustache and I'm getting acne everywhere on my face. I got one right here on my lip. I've gotten taller. Um, I got chest hair. I shave. I just got out of the surgery. I have changed as a person emotionally, physically, spiritually, everything. You know, everything about me has changed and I love it. I was at a transgender equality meeting and she walked in and I, my, I had to pick my jaw up off the ground and we just hit it off from there. It's actually a, a lot more common thing that people think that two transgenders dating. Uh, it was pretty unique that we actually were out and about about it, especially we were young, as, we were young yeah. together, transgender. Plus, we were in the middle of a very conservative area, and a rare we thing to see down. Very rare thing to see a transgendered period down in the Bible Belt, let alone uh, the buckle itself. No one knew what I was going through. I had like a un, unwanted superpower of being invisible because you feel like I'd ask somebody something and they'd look at me and turn around like I didn't ask them anything. The kids reacted how many wouldn't expect. They spat at me, they taunted me, they laughed at me, they pushed me, they shoved me. I had transitioned from my old self in the same school to Katie and managed to survive the very first day of my beginning semester. I dropped out. I was bullied. and. They finally uh, asked me to leave. I started to think that, why am, why am I cursed to live, to be like this, living day to day, hating myself? However, I, I, I realized that this wasn't a curse. This was a blessing. This was, you know, it, it turned me to some, someone who was scared and someone who was lonely to someone who was strong and independent and beautiful. And it, it taught me to treat people right and not be afraid. You have this new like love for life. You want to make something of yourself because you struggled so hard to survive. I got up my courage and I went to school the very first day of the second semester of my junior year. And it was the same way as it was the first day of the last semester. People taunted me and laughed at me and pointed at me, but I survived the first day and then the second day and then the third day and eventually it just got easier. It just became natural after a while. The experiences I went through made me into the guy I am today. And I think that's the best thing about this is I am the man I want to be. You define yourself. I'm Katie. That's all it is.